Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Lyme disease. Number one, contagious ticks are tiny. They're often the size of a poppy seed, but they can be so small that they're essentially invisible. Some are smaller than a pinhead, which is approximately four one hundredths of an inch. Because of their size, they're often hard to locate and remove. Number two, contagious ticks can take up to 48 hours to transmit disease. Sometimes we think that if we get bitten by a tick infected with Lyme disease, we are automatically infected as well. But that's not true. It takes 24 to 48 hours for the bacteria to make its way into the saliva of the tick and consequently into your bloodstream. So if you remove ticks immediately after hiking or doing anything outdoors, you have an incredibly low risk of infection. Number three, a bull's eye rash sometimes appears. A commonly known symptom of Lyme disease is a bullseye shaped rash originating around the tick bite. Most often it is red at the origin of the bite followed by a ring of normal skin and then another ring of red skin. However, this symptom is much less common than what is popularly believed. Less than 20% of Lyme disease victims have this symptom. Expecting this symptom to always appear is dangerous because it can cause victims to delay treatment. Number four, Lyme disease can be transmitted to babies by pregnant mothers. Most often, the disease is transmitted during childbirth, and it can cause debilitating or even fatal birth defects. A concerning 20% of babies with infected mothers will be infected during childbirth. Number five, cases exist everywhere. Lyme disease is not a localized disease. Cases have been reported in all 50 states and in every continent except Antarctica. Number six, Lyme disease is sometimes referred to as the great imitator because its many symptoms imitate other sicknesses, making it hard to diagnose. There are over 300 varying symptoms affecting the skin, nervous system, joints, muscles, heart, and eyes. Diagnostic tests exist, but they are incredibly inaccurate. In some cases, patients get false positives or negatives for years before it is determined what's actually going on. This is another reason Lyme disease is often misdiagnosed. Number seven, children make up 25% of cases. Because they spend so much time outside, it's easy for children to pick up ticks without ever realizing it. And because of their age, Lyme disease can sometimes cause serious complications. Number eight, health insurance often doesn't cover treatment for Lyme disease. There may be several reasons for this, but it's sometimes claimed that chronic Lyme disease is a diagnosis used by doctors to describe unexplained symptoms, which is associated with expensive experiments and treatments that insurers don't want to cover. Number nine, although rare, Lyme disease can be fatal. From 1999 to 2003, 114 death records were due to Lyme disease. However, all but one record also had underlying heart conditions or their medical records weren't consistent with Lyme disease. That means that only one person died from Lyme disease alone during that time. The other 113 likely died due to complications relating to Lyme disease. Number 10. There is no approved vaccine for Lyme disease. In the mid-1990s, trial vaccines were being used, but they were only safe for people who were 15 years old or older, and only 80% got immunity. The vaccines were discontinued when claims were made that they caused autism and a new vaccine has never been approved. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Have you had experiences with Lyme disease? Tell us about it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.